That's our trademark. Hey. Hey. <laughs> How's it I'm going? doing good, bro. What about yourself? That's good. That's now, good. now, That's guys, good. it was Trey's birthday, so let's get a happy birthday for him. Happy birthday, guys. Thank you, yeah, thank uh, you. Thank how old are you turning, man? How old are you turning? 18? 18, oh, adult. Big boy, no longer needing to go to David Buster. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Now, let's let's get into our topics today. We have a lot of topics. So, let's, let's do something easy. Uh, easy? The coolest places on Earth. Let's, let's start there. We'll smooth mm. into the, the more intense topics I see that we have ready to get. Now, there's coolest places on Earth that like are like natural, mm -hmm. like nature coolest places. And then like there's like the environment or like the community or like Self -made. The people that make oh, it the coolest. Really... So, yeah. So, I would say like... Tokyo is probably the coolest you place on Earth. Know. But then there's like a lot of like environment coolest places like Niagara Falls or something now, like that. Now here's my favorite. I, I already put it as one topic because I, I wasn't sure if you knew about it, but this this goes worth it. Uh, one of my favorite places in the world that I think is so interesting is the largest cave in the world, Hang Son Dung. Mm. I think I pronounced, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but that's, that's the name. It's in Vietnam, okay? Uh, it's the largest cave in the world. There's even a jungle inside the cave because it's so big mm. that you, there's like literally like cheetahs, not cheetahs, what, there's like leopards and a bunch of animals just living in there, like living literally in that jungle. And it's like, what is it? It's, Wait, is, is there like a little pond? There's so many, there's like a. There's so many things, dude. It's like a little, like, it's like another world in there. And I was thinking mm. one day we should explore it. And I thought it was so beautiful. A whole new world. Like, and it takes four days to get to the jungle because the cave is that big. Like, it it takes oh. that far to get there. Crazy. Yeah, dude. One of the rarest animals lived there. It's called, I forgot the specific name, but the, the nickname it got was the, the unicorn because it has a, uh, two horns, but from the side it looks like it has one horn. So people called it a unicorn. Oh. That's where the unicorn came from. That's yeah, dude, crazy. I did a lot of on this topic. I did a lot. But doesn't it sound interesting? <laughs> I was so intrigued by it. It sounds. We should dude, go we'll there. die. But I I love to. Oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> it you know it takes four days to get there, and I already know you and me are gonna be the first day lost in somewhere. Because one of us is going to be like, hey, man, I think I found no, a no, shortcut. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it seems like a, a little shortcut. We I see the lights. Then we get attacked by Surely. a lion. <laughs> We're going to die, bro. If we go in there. Oh, there's like booby traps. No, they, they, they don't. They, they're like 90% sure that it was nature they did, that did it. But there are also like signs of like mm. tribes living there. So they're not sure if somehow like the oh. tribes did it. I, I think it's probably a combination of both. Yeah, they probably yeah. made it bigger. But I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I didn't get the skill for that. Well, I'm a cyber scientist. I don't. How does it even happen? Like, how does a cave in a mountain form? Like, how does like that? Dude, happen? it's like <laughs> it's literally like 126 m. Like this is what they estimated to. It's like 126 empires deep down. So imagine 126 empire oh states, my. buildings, all the way down to to wherever the ground. Yeah, but how does they that don't know? Even That's what they're form. saying. They can't really know what did it. The best thing they can guess is just like back then. That's how the jungle. They also think that's how the jungle came in. By some point, there was a river that was so strong, and it kept on like making different currents, leading to plant mm. life, uh, different holes and ponds and all other stuff. That's their that's their idea, but that's gonna be a strong ass river to do all that. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's a strong river right there to make a whole cave. Truly, that that they just they can't they can't figure it out. They just can't. Yeah. They can't. They can't. It's crazy how 
Like That's interesting. Uh, the one of the rarest frogs lived there too. I forgot the specific name. It's a little little guy. Poisonous though. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a really cool place. I would like to see it one day. Before I perish this this world that we have. Yeah. We should do it. My Boom. my Easy My nineteenth right birthday try. Put a blindfold on me. Take me to Vietnam. Guess where we're going. <laughs> 60 empire states down down the earth okay that was pretty yeah. good that was pretty good no we take an elevator we're like are we in a hotel <laughs> <laughs> they they haven't even fully no. explored oh, it yet because no. it's so big they they <laughs> they just like saw grass and it was like what's this way and then they, they discovered the jungle <laughs> like, what's that uh, um uh, well this this should go nice next because speaking of water uh why does like water so mm. <laughs> <laughs> you you wrote this i don't know why, why does like water so why i guess so. like water so i don't remember writing that i thought you honestly wrote that dude I, <laughs> you definitely i think that was off of our like strange addictions oh. why do we like water so much Try. i love water i I like I just like to drink something all the so time. So you choose water. But why Weird. water when you can have like yeah. iced tea that you're also a fan of? <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I don't know cuz water water is so It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> but that that's what you're tasting. You're yeah. tasting nothing. Nothing. Does that mean that's we love nothing? Hmm. Mm, yeah. I think this is this is gonna sound completely okay. crazy, but I think since it's nothing, our minds put a taste of what we want it to be. So if we like it, it's like the best thing. Well, <laughs> I guess <laughs> what if you do taste something? That's often because you're tasting cold or or heat nits or or lukewarm. You're tasting temperatures rather than an actual. A thing. No, 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 no. <laughs> so you like the flavor of lukewarm because that's you like room temperature, right? So you like yeah, so you like drinking room temperature. You would swallow the air right now in your room if you could. <laughs> you would love to taste it. Yeah. Because that's that's yeah. what, that's what you taste. That would be wonderful. Really, bro. I think that's we all we have for that talk. There's not really much. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. What does like water so much? <laughs> With three question marks. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, this is this is a very this is okay, very yeah, a controversial. Yeah. What's that word? Very hot. Very hot. I would hot say. Topic. Would you date a porn okay, star? What? I would say no. Okay, now here's my follow up question: Would you date? A voice actor porn star. Um, I didn't even know those exist. No, they, they exist. <laughs> oh, trust me, um, trust yeah. me, they exist. But <laughs> dude, you've done some research. I don't know. Now, now here's here's what people's point is for uh, dating a porn star. They they think it of a form of acting. It's like you know a scene in a movie where your girlfriend Chris is or, a guy. And it's like, oh, that means nothing because yeah. it's acting. They're saying the same thing with the porn. Or as a job. Yeah, like an acting job. But honestly, okay, okay, now, I, I, I agree. I don't think I could handle knowing that. <laughs> <laughs> like, would you, okay, would you be okay with her doing OnlyFans? Yeah, the thing is, if she's really good at it, and she makes a crazy amount of money, like more than like you know, some OnlyFans girls get like so much crazy money they they don't even know what to do with it. If she was making that kind of money, I think I would just have to go with it. Because like, what mm-hmm. what's for me to stop her from making so much money like that, you know? But yeah, it's her choice. Oh hey, favoritism, what you doing? If you have any questions for the podcast, man, just write it down. We'll, we'll answer it. But. I I think if she was like doing okay, I would I would ask her these two things. I would this this is what what I would ask her. These I would say, things. listen, I I just don't feel comfortable you doing this. 
or we can do it together. <laughs> it has to be one of those two. But if she was making a lot of money, then then it's her then time. Then it, it'd be her time to shine. to shine. I would not stop her in any way. Would you do uh, Data Girl if they were OnlyFans? Doing OnlyFans? Not prior. Not prior. But yeah. like. I don't know. Like you didn't know, and then suddenly she. As long them. as they're not like acting like they're looking for someone, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I kind of understand. They're not putting themselves out there for, like, with the intention of like wanting another to be person. In it. Except, you, would you be in it? Like, would you help your girlfriend do it? I wouldn't be. Yeah. In it. <laughs> no. I think I would do it for money. <laughs> If I see a possibility. Yeah. So. So your your girlfriend would be doing OnlyFans and be like, hey, I, I mean, you know, if she's only making the money, money. <laughs> I don't know. like, if she's like top ten. But I think I'm all up in that. But I'm pretty sure I would never get a girl like maybe that. Maybe you would. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you never. I don't know. know, girl. She might use me for the. You could pop. Yeah, off. she can use my name for empty orbs. The the thing about it is that like this is the only way I see you I see uh dodging your looks for for like a, a credible beautiful girl that like you would never stand a chance with. You either have a lot of money cuz that blinds everything uh-huh. or like you saved her life. Like she was about to die and you're like, "Ah!" and then she, it's just like a natural instinct to be like, "Oh my god, he saved my life." Now, I want to mm-hmm. love him for the rest of his life. Even though she probably doesn't know you or anything, but it gets you into that starting point. Those are the only two ways I see possible. You know, because that's what happens in every scenario. Either he has... In, in, scenario, every, movie. in every movie and real life where you see like, like, oh, dang, this guy saved my life. I'm going to date him. Or like, you know, you see like 80-year-old guys with like 18-year-old women's with like, because he has like stacks on stacks on stacks on cash. Yeah, that's just how it is. Sometimes. And you know, I can't blame them. Like, <laughs> I can't, I can't fully blame <laughs> girls for that because if I, I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. Like, I would tell if if an old woman comes to me and was like, "Hey, baby," and she has like mad mad stacks, I would tell her like, <laughs> "Hey, I love you." <laughs> can we go to Tesla and then buy myself a car like I would make it obvious I'm there for the money and if she's okay with me just being there for the money just for me you know then I guess I have no choice, <laughs> have no choice. like I would make it obvious that I'm there for the money and if you know she really does love me I would feel bad like extremely bad but she already knew my answer you know <laughs> she she already knew. Like you can't just blame the girls for being gold diggers because it's also the guy being stupid for you know being <laughs> blindly in love with them. But hey, I I guess I don't really know because I never had that experience with all the money. But, you know. uh, I don't know. Would you be? But it would be hard. Like if you had that much money, you yeah. How would you differentiate the people that like actually you. Yeah, yeah, want yeah. you or that? The that's money? the problem with growing up, like uh, with a lot of money. Uh, people are just like, "Yo, this guy got a lot of money. I'm gonna hang out with him." You see a lot with YouTubers, like uh, you know, them just hanging out with certain people for uh, money wise or stuff like that. You know, yeah. the only real way is to uh, you know if they were prior. Like, if they were your friends prior and they were, like, supporting you, what? Oh, yeah. But, like, for... I think Mr. Beast gets it the worst. Like, he has so much money and then there's, like, random people, like, always, like, helping him and doing all the other stuff. And I, I already know they're, like, I'm helping him. So I better be in that video for a million dollars. Like, it's kind of obvious. Yeah. I feel sad. Uh-huh. Okay, dude. What, what, what's the next topic here? We got some really good ones. Um... Okay, well, what do we hate about each other? Okay. Uh, Man, I had, I had the best one for you, <laughs> but 
I forgot it. Forget you got to remember. Okay, then then I'll go first. Oh wait, uh, okay, no, wait, you wait, got... wait. Oh shit, X this. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. This is. Tell me, tell it to me straight, this, bro. This tell is it, it to me straight. This is it. You settle for less. What type of like? Not a hundred percent of the yeah, time, yeah. but you're like, yeah, that's all right. But yeah. Like, that's good enough. Yeah, yeah. I completely or, agree. I know I'm like, doing that. I do it on purpose. You gotta... Be- <laughs> 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 because I I choose mentally if that thing deserves the time it will actually get. I'm not going to put my time into something that's not going to be worth it to put 100% in it. I I choose that mentally. Yeah, but, the things, but the things that sometimes deserve full force you're like yeah that's good enough when it's like that i usually have someone else doing it that i know will do it 100 <laughs> percent. like for example our youtube banner i know that's pretty important but okay i, I know you were gonna put 100 percent either way so what's the point of me putting 100 percent if I like it, <laughs> and I can tell you put 100%, that's all I need to know. You know? Okay. That's, that's my two That's it. <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm thinking right now. I want to either pick like one or two. But I'm uh, going uh, in deep, bro. This is deep. Uh, I'm going in hard. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, cool. Okay, here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. here's one thing. You usually, yeah. when it comes to uh, creative processes, the I feel like you're so... Selfish. I guess that too. But really, <laughs> just straightforward thinking. You don't really, like, open up. Like, you're kind of like thinking, this is the way it has to go. So this yeah. is how I'm going to do it. Instead of, that's a you know, opening up and thinking of different horizons. That's, that's yeah. Why, why do you think you do that? I think it's like mental block of like having an idea and just sticking with mm-hmm. that. Or thinking too much of one idea and going f- like way too in depth into one idea and like not thinking or not putting the same amount of time as... Uh, other ideas needed. To so, have. like my hundred percent thing. <laughs> 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 That's kind of funny. Wait, we did something. But it's but it's like. No, I get what you mean. No, but it's like the opposite though. Of like, I only go hundred percent in one thing. Yeah, yeah. Once I have well, that... an idea that I would think yeah, is yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. And what else is good? Yeah. I had something else in mind. Do you have anything else? Ah. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I know I had a good one. Oh my god. No, but I'm really selfish. <laughs> With work I wouldn't I say you're selfish. It's more like like more you think you think this. So you're self- you're more self aware that I like the way like I said, that's what I'm saying. You're more mental blocked. You think I like it this way, so I'm yeah. gonna do it this way. Which is a sense of selfishness, but it's more keeping yourself mentally blocked instead of opening up to different opportunities. Mm. <laughs> okay, now love. Now, love. <laughs> what is uh. love? <laughs> now, now, there's two love? different kinds of love, actually. I was thinking the two difference of love is I love you, my brother, versus I love you, my wife. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so it, it's like, it's like not... N- mm. Mm. Exactly. It's like not natural love, but it's... It's love. Love. But... You see I know what, what you're saying. saying. I'm thinking the exact same thing. But it's hard to put into words. It really yeah. is. But 
Yeah, love love is complicated though. Love, but, but isn't it crazy that like there's someone in the world mm-hmm. out there that you will love one day. One day They'll never. But you may never meet that person. And they might not ever love you back. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I think, to me, <laughs> if I would have to choose between those two, it would probably be not loving me back. Because if I never got to meet that person, then I would probably, like, someone saying, hey, like, like I go to a fortune teller, like, this person will be the love of your life. If I go there and I meet her, right, if I don't mean her, I mean, then I won't feel anything, right? I'd never see her. I'd never talk to her. But then you feel heartbreak. But I wouldn't feel heartbreak because it would be more curiosity rather than a heartbreak. It's like, oh, what could have happened? But instead of me actually going there and then getting my heart broke, like saying I love you, and she's like, I don't love you back, that would hurt me more, I feel <laughs> like, than just yeah. thinking, oh, that person might not love me. I mean, might love me. Okay, here's here's my thing. Are you are you mm-hmm. pretty uh if you like a person I, I think I already know the answer to this. If you like a person, do you go straight to it? Not straight to it, but I mean like you're you're kinda conf- like conforming it in a certain way. You're like, Yeah, I love you. Like you know what I mean? Like kinda just go headstrong instead of waiting like you know how some people are like, Let me go into the friend zone first and then I'll struck <laughs> <laughs> Or are you that person that like tries to go on the first day like Mm, snap your finger that fast. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I, I confused myself. Like on the first date, <laughs> on the first date, I would say no, no, no. You, or like, like, when would you like confront, like, uh, show that you have feelings for someone? Would you do it instantly or go into the friend zone and slowly? Uh, I definitely slowly. Wait. So, but I don't think you go into the friend zone. Some people think that's a yeah, that's I, a show. They're like waiting for like three years and be like, hey. I love you. And she's like, I don't. Or <laughs> something like that. Because if you're in there for too you, long. You will live there. Then you'll live there. You're friends You'll forever. live there forever. So you think. I, oh, I actually, I know. Wait. I know. You're more of a. More of a. Walking. Rather than running straight to it. I think most of the time. I have. Tried running towards it. Yeah, I, I would say most of the time I run for it. I don't really take the okay. walk. How fast? <laughs> How fast am I running? Okay, let's okay, say you yeah, see yeah. someone. Yeah. So, sorry, say, say, yeah. You see someone at mm-hmm. work. It's the first day on the job. Yeah. A week goes by. You're like, man. I want to date her. That girl over there is pretty I cute. Date her. I'm going to get to yeah, know yeah. her. That's slow. But running would be the first time you talk to this person. When is, you say, hey, do you want to go, go out? But I don't think. Well, yeah, most of the scenarios are like that. I'm kind of like midway. By the time I see her, and then I wait like three days, I kind of like go now and then to the talks and stuff. And then I would be like, hey, do you want to go somewhere or do something? Do you want to go hang out or something? Something like that. Yeah. That's how fast I would probably be. Like, if I see her work one day, and then I and I realize, like, hey, this girl might be cute. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I have never had a like a what's it called when you see it, love, love at it first, first sight. sight. I never had any experience like that. So I always start to like someone when I when I'm just like relaxing with them, and then I just get to know them naturally. Like, I never fell in love with someone, or like I've never fallen in love, but. <laughs> I never liked anyone. I never liked anyone the moment I see him. I don't know. It's just something about me. Mm. Because as we know, I'm more of a comfort man than a looks man. But looks definitely help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a bar example. You know, you're having a drink, and then you see a cute girl yeah. across, and you're like, "Oh, I'm gonna buy this girl a drink and talk to her, see if I like her. Maybe have a crazy night, you know." But stuff like that. That's how. That's how that usually happens. I don't know. That just feels too pushy. Yeah. You know? I, I don't... I don't see that big of a problem with it. Because, you know, that might just be their style with it for girls. Because they... They have to do it now. Because... Well, the thing is, 
when that happens, sometimes they're just looking for a good night, but other times they're like, it's mm-hmm. like the the first love scenario. First, uh, I keep on forgetting the same, bro. Love at first sight. Yeah, Love they feel sight. like, oh dang, this because we met at like some restaurant or something. This is gonna be the only chance I'll probably ever see her in my life, so I have to talk to her. If you know, yeah. I might never see her again. But you know, so you know, that that's my idea of probably why most guys do it. Some other guys are just like. Time for a good night. Here, here's another topic I have. Uh, why mm-hmm. are humans so toxic? Now, by that, I this is my general idea of how I see things. If you're too bad, he, the people make fun of you for being bad. If you're too good, people get jealous at you and they get mad at you for being too good. And if you're average, people make fun of you because you haven't done anything in your life. So... <laughs> Why do people always think like uh, that? Like, if you're too bad at something, you suck. If you're too good at something, people say, he's annoying, he, I'm jealous. You know, they never say I'm jealous, but they're always jealous, and they're mad at that person. And then if you're average, mm-hmm. they're like, oh, why are you so average? Do something in your life, <laughs> you know? So why are people like that? It's just, like, the mentality that all of us have, and, like, we can't accept anything Mm, mm. I think I think it does have something to do with mentality like I'm just so curious why do humans act like that like I'm pretty sure if you noticed it right you've seen stuff like that every time where people hate Mm -hmm. the loser but if you're too good they also hate the winner Mm mm-hmm there's no there's like never a good place to be in there's no winning yeah there's no good no good place to be in society any part you're in society is it's considered it's people always look bad at it at some way or somehow it's it's kind of crazy it's it's kind of <laughs> crazy it's kind of now crazy. if you had no okay now here's my question if you would put yourself somewhere where what scale would it be on the loser side the more successful side or somewhere in the average where you know people would be like why haven't you done anything with your life you're so average where do i where do i see myself right now or like a usual standby yeah uh i think average yeah i think probably myself as well a little average maybe a little bit towards the loser side Yeah, 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 that's a good spot. Almost to the loser side. A little bit. Now, here's my question. If you had a choice, would you go to another world? Like a, like a, like if, if someone came to you and said, hey, we realize that you hate our society. Do you want to come to our society? And it's a uh, completely different ideals with with everything. All different people. All different kinds of people. A different kind of society. Still, somewhat humans, but pretend it's kind of more of a fantasy. Side. No, no. Explain why. Explain to me. Because it's too. It's too different. It, it would be too new. I I I wouldn't know anybody You'll there. Be lost. You'd be lonely again. Wouldn't have any. Oh, no. I, <laughs> ah. Is that is that a fair of yours? If you want to talk about, it, is it is being lonely somewhat a fair of yours? What's a, what's uh, a uh, my Hispanic tongue? I'm sorry. <laughs> like a a, f- <laughs> uh, a fear. Uh, is that one of your? F- a be, like being lonely that's think, the, that's a good amount of people it's very rare for me to like w- have the need to be around people but when i do it gets really bad and i feel really really lonely when you're around people no 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 when i do have the need and i don't have oh, you don't have the people, people around me. Ranch. yeah that's that's uh that's a good amount of uh like, people that are considered introverts. And and I would yeah, I, it's I would weird. consider myself in that uh, section too where 
you have people, right? But、mm-hmm. it feels like you can't get the right timing. So then usually you're just lonely. But、yeah. sometimes it's not really the timing. It's more of a. Now I'm not sure about you. I, I've done this a couple of times, especially in high school, where I've been offered to go to places, and I'm just like, I want to hang out with them, but I kind of don't as well. <laughs> <laughs> so then I,、yeah. so then I don't. I'm always like, I'm sick. Yeah. So then I don't. But then later that day, I'm like, I feel bad. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone with them. I yeah, I get total regret、yeah. every single time. Dude, we're like, yeah, that was that was me all through dude, high school. We're two peas in a big ass pot. <laughs> But in college, there's only been a few times where I, where I actually like didn't want to do anything,、mm-hmm. and and then I was like, man, I, I think、gone. it's now because you're with certain people that. That、uh, pushes you to go out with them. Oh, do we want to be famous? Do you want to be famous? Um, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> um, I always thought it'd be cool. Like, I would be so happy if if anyone came up to me is like, "Hey, can you sign this? Can I take a picture with you? Your thing is so funny." Like that would that would make me happy. But. I don't think I would like, like to. How famous? Like famous where you can't even walk out of your house, or like famous where like you might see a fan or、As、two. Like, when I go, when like go a、out. YouTuber famous. There's like okay, so it's like YouTuber famous, TV show famous, and then movie star. Star. Movie、famous. star. Right now, I see myself in all three because I'm just that. No. <laughs> <laughs> But. I think I would prefer the YouTube star most often, because I feel like the rest is because I I really do like my privacy. I kind of have a whole privacy thing, but、mm. uh, yeah, I just I like my privacy. And if I'm like a movie star, and then every ten seconds, someone's at my house being like, "Oh my god." Matthew's naked, and they're just taking you know sixty pictures of me. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> Time to take some pictures. He's like Matthew. Oh, Not、God. the size you expected, so <laughs> the big headline. So that would be, you know,、uh, annoying, and I w- I wouldn't like that. But I think YouTube famous is a good place where I would be. Where now and then someone's like, "Hey, can I take a picture with you?" And I'm just like, "Hey, I love you. I love your、yeah, YouTube videos.、Uh, I can't believe I'm meeting you guys. Oh my God!" Yeah, you know? that is one <laughs> of my dreams, though. Where. Not to sound weird, but I want them like crying that they met me. <laughs> like they're like, <laughs> oh, my <laughs> they're like oh my god, it's Matthew! And then、yeah. I want like the whole like she screams it so loud, and we're like in a crowded place. Everyone looks at like looks at us and like, oh my god, that guy's important. And then, <laughs> and then <laughs>、oh、my god, that guy's important. And then everyone starts rushing to me. I'm like, hey, this little girl here, she's my fan. You know what I always found like would be interesting. For like a celebrity to do is like, or like they do, but like they walk around with like their grandma or、mm-hmm. something, and like they're super famous, and like everyone is like asking for for pictures, and their grandma's like, "This is this is what your life is like," <laughs> and then <laughs> we're like, "That would be so interesting or and fun to do." We should do that. Like with with. <laughs> we put up like old age makeup, and we're like the grandpas, and we get like some. Famous actor at the time, he's dragging us around. Yeah, yeah. this is my grandpa, and then whoever has the c- closest skin color、like, to him will say, "That's the grandpa, and I'm his best buddy." Then he's strolling us down. Dude,、yeah. already putting it in the notes. Uh, so what?、Perfect. What kind of famous would you like to be? I want to be like somewhere in the middle of. TV show and movie star. That's still pretty big, bro. I know, dude. But you're、I、gonna be、that. having. That would be. That would be press. Crazy, be, bro. But like I said, I'm really only doing this for the money. 
<laughs> but not because I want to go out and like buy crazy stuff. It's just more like I like the idea of being stable and just kid. You like the comfort of like just knowing that it, money stable. Yeah, knowing that I can do anything. And the thing is, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like to use a lot of my energy on things unless <laughs> I really want to. More like if I'm curious or something or knowing that I have to, I put energy into it. But most of the time, I'm like, why waste the energy on doing that? You know, <laughs> why waste the time? And, yeah, but that's the settle, settling for that's less. That's the settling for less. But like I already said, it's me putting down for what I think is important. Like if someone, like for, for most of my homework or in like most of high school, I didn't join a single club. I didn't do any sports. I didn't do any extra classes that I had to. I did the bare minimum. I am kind of like you in a certain way. Where I do put my energy in something. It's more like what you said. When I can't really focus on anything else. I do go 100% on it. But that for me Mm -hmm. is pretty rare. Where I find a point Mm -hmm. in doing something 100 100%. Where I focus solely on that. I usually do multitasking. When I'm doing something, I do something else at the same time. Like when I was doing the thumbnail, I was doing two tests at the same time. I'm not even joking. I was doing the math test and the <laughs> plagiarism test. I did two at the same time. Oh my goodness. Like, so I didn't have to waste time late the night where I had to finish that and then do something else. Because I thought it would be faster. And it was faster where I do both. But Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Tell me, How? Tell me, tell me. Are you doing the test and the thumbnail at the same time? Are you like doing a question and then you like? I oh, would use you move this little picture. I would do. <laughs> I this is let, let me tell you the whole process. I opened all three things I needed. Then what mm-hmm. happened was, I did ten questions because it was like a like a eighty question test on the math. So I did ten questions on math and it was like a twenty question on English. So I did three questions. So I broke it up. I, every time I did 10 questions, I did the next three questions. Then for the thumbnail, I would make it, uh, what's that word for photos? Where uh, you make it so it can go overlay pictures. I forgot the name. Where the check, where, you, where you have the photo and then you have the checkers on it on the background. So it doesn't have the background. You remove the background. Like yeah, that's it. I make it transparent. And I go by each photo, then I then, you know, I go set by set. Then when I'm actually doing the thumbnail, I have the thumbnail up in one corner and then the two quizzes at the same time. So then I went by three by three mm. and then I changed the picture, made it look nice. Bro. And then I tried the red outline, but I couldn't do it on me because I had a red body already. So it didn't look good. Then white yeah. didn't make it look any better because it blended with a checkerboard so then i and there was no point in doing it so it was a good thing the though. yellow was not good oh dude it was a by the time uh, by the time uh everyone is listening to this the chess video will yeah, be yeah. out hopefully you guys liked it matthew edited it yeah yeah pretty simple edit pretty pro pretty pro indeed bro and then uh, after you're listening to this, next week we have another video coming out. It's a long Very one. Long. You would think it's on YouTube Red. It's not. It's not crazy, but it's it, it's it's pretty funny. It has its moments, truly. Pee your pants video. a little. <laughs> oh, magic candy bag. Uh, I'll say it probably later if I can figure it out. But like you don't you don't like how most people do things. I guess that's a good way. Yeah. That was kinda what I was going for, basically. I I, just, I don't know. I feel like most people nowadays that are famous, I feel don't deserve the fame. Especially music artists. Those ones, for the most part. Most of those that become famous are just memes. 
they're not real good songs. So yeah, when they think they get famous, then they upload on their next album. No one likes it because they were just a meme. <laughs> but sometimes they continue, yeah. and sometimes it pops off for them. But that's really rare. And I, I feel that, and I feel that <laughs> for TikTok too, where it's the least amount of effort, and you get the mo- the most reward out of it. You can literally just have a music over you, subtitles, say one word. That's a million likes right there. And I, I really don't like that for for the most part. I know that counteracts with my idea of not putting too much energy into something. But my idea of how you deserve something, you should put energy into it. Where if you don't do something and then you get super, super crazy, crazy famous for it. Like uh, like uh, Lil Nas, for example. I haven't heard from that guy in years. I don't know what he's doing. No one, no, nobody knows what that kid's doing. He's making an album. Right exactly. Now. <laughs> like, but the hor- the song, you know, know, the horse thing. It's all right, but the only reason people listen to it is because it's me. Milk. He milked it. He made sixty different versions. <laughs> 60 different versions really and you know there's some people that work really hard and and sometimes they do get the rewards that they do deserve but most of the time some people don't and, and it's just kind of sad that's how i see it. i've been saying that a lot today like uh like most of the the people that are like being memed or as good are like blocking the way for people that actually deserve yeah. it to be in that spot. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, basically. You know, they put no energy into it, like how I would. But they actually get a reward out of it. For my TikToks, I usually put a good amount of energy, I would say. Not crazy, but mm-hmm. at least some that deserve some likes. Like 20. But it's okay. Like t- today, yeah. I posted that, that one with my father. It looked like yeah. it had no energy, but you can ask him. We restarted like a thousand times because he <laughs> really? could not get the angle right. <laughs> like the angle was so bad every time. And I, I just couldn't have it posted like that. Our YouTube channel. I would say really, you're, you're putting a good amount more effort than me, I would say, for all the artistic uh panels and all that stuff uh-huh. but that's most of mostly because if i really did a hundred percent it wouldn't be as good as your a hundred percent which i already know <laughs> well i think so it's just in terms of like thing. the whole thing we definitely share our visions and then we combine them and then i am able to like finish it basically like the tennis video uh-huh. we both had our different ideas and then we combined them yeah, yeah, yeah. into something bro i feel like i'm more of the idea man and yeah then and then i you're more like do it how should we do it and then we combine those boom, boom. chikalala <laughs> the perfect bamboo. We should put that on a Chikalala. shirt. We might get copyrighted. That's from uh, Chavo. Mm-hmm. Hilarious sitcom. Spanish style. We, we should make uh, our own sitcom. Merch coming soon. Very soon. It's free if you come to NC Charlotte. Harry Steven. It's free if you pay $500 in shipping. I say that's fair. I would do it. I would do that. <laughs> I'm not even joking. And then we market it as free shirts. Boom. Put in your address. Boom. Five hundred dollars. That, that just made me think of something illegal. <laughs> but but that, no, the idea of No, people do that all the yeah, time. Yeah, I know where they increase the, the not, value not of the shipping. A lot of people do that on eBay. It's like twenty dollars. And like you wish and stuff. But now if you had a chance I'm not saying you'll be successful. You're going to have to take the risk. But you know you're good at it. 
would you do some kind of mon- money laundering, laundering, mm-hmm. uh, cleaning money, or you know, owning some kind of dirty money business side side hustles? You know, drug wise, would you ever handle something like that? You think in your life, if you knew you can get like a billion dollars, but you don't know if you would succeed. <laughs> No, I don't think I would. I think I would agree. I don't think I would either. Uh, I don't think I would. I, I think the only one I would do is probably cleaning money, which is really profi- profitable. Man, words are hard, bro. <laughs> you know, I'm not good at Spanish either, so. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you, like... They just start combining. They, they become one, <laughs> and I don't know when. But like I was saying, I think, you know, cleaning money is probably the safest bet, and you earn a lot of money. Yeah. But, but you'll die if something goes wrong. Because yeah. those guys... It might all go south. Those guys do not like... When their money's gone, they don't they, play it. Over. They don't like it when their money's gone. Now, here, would you keep would a crazy I? secret? Like, say, for example, I did. Like, I was a, a cleaning. You killed someone. Okay, yeah, for sure. <laughs> we could use that example. But I was thinking uh, more like cleaning money or something like that. Or if I was Spooderman, I'm pretty sure you would keep that secret. But yeah. So if I killed someone, you saying that. Would I keep yeah, this? I, would you? Yeah, tell anyone. It totally depends. Like, what if like the family is like doesn't know, and then they're like crying, and everyone's like, "Oh my god, what but, happened to my?" Baby? But what if they don't know what and he then, did? But I told you what he does. Like, he's a he's also a killer, but yeah. they don't know that he kept it a secret. Mm. Because you can't base mm. it on people around you because See, they don't know the full story. That's totally, but that's totally hyper. And this situation is completely situational. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. just okay. Say I just kill like some random guy on the street. Just say say that. What I keep it a secret? secret. Nothing, knowing nothing, and. Yeah, I just came up to you and I was like, hey, I just killed a man. Don't tell no one. I run and then you away. run away. And then the cops come to my house the next the day. The next day, because the, the they're next, like, hey, have you seen that? The would be like, hey, we need to ask you yeah, a few yeah. questions. What yeah, I write yeah, you that's question. I don't think I would. Hey, Trey. Because I know that you would have some type of reasoning. I need to tell you something later. It has to be after the podcast, though. <laughs> oh god. Um yeah. This was This was a test on the line, bro. Is it this? Oh my. Um mm. I I think I would do the same. Unless the thing is is it is a very situational thing because what if you like you know, for example, you came to me and instantly said I killed someone, I got to go. You run away. Then the cops come to me, and they were like, "Matthew, have you seen Trey recently? There, there's a thought that he's like off his medication. I'm not saying you're, on, you know, you're on medication, but for example, like let me say you're on medication. He's, <laughs> he's crazy. He's gone, <laughs> he's gone crazy. He's not on his medication. He, he's killing people. Would I rat you out for your own safety, or since I, mm. like, it's a." Yeah, yeah, it's a that's, it's, that's like the farthest. Yeah, situation that's what I'm saying. It's <laughs> it's very gone. situational this whole thing. Like <laughs> it's hard to say. It truly does depend uh, on the situation. But I think if you came up to me it randomly, it's like, hey, I could so I think I would be the same. Like, I haven't seen the guy all day. Maybe you know he went to the male strip club. He went there once. I don't know. <laughs> I'll throw them fake leads at him. I'd be like, yeah, you saw that video that you clean. Uh, you know. <laughs> We were at that male strip club. This... Turns out he likes it there, so you you might see him there at night. Oh no, that no, that's a throw off, bro. I'm saving your life. It might embarrass you, but I'm saving your life. Well, and then you call me. No, and you're like, I wouldn't call hey, you. I got some because <laughs> then they, they would. No, yeah, they're then gonna they're go gonna there. know. So what I would do 
is I would somehow find you hiding in the garbage can. Be like, hey, Trey, what's going on? And then I see the situation. Dude, there was, um, there was one time I was driving. Mm-hmm. It was pretty backed up. And then we see some police cars. And then all of a sudden, this news, this news helicopter oh, no. lands in this field like to the left of us. And then like people run out. And then we drive, and then we keep driving forward, and then there's like just so many cop cars, and then there's this car crashed into a tree, and then uh, we just we had to keep moving along, and then we drive back from where we were going, and there was nothing left. And, kind of fast. and then later we we found out that the car was stolen. Mm-hmm. He crashed it into a tree. He jumped out and ran into the forest and. And uh, they were searching for him there. They found him, and he was hiding underneath someone's porch for like five hours. My biggest fear is I'm sleeping and I wake up to to something super strange. Like I see eyes at me. That is my biggest fear. I would shit myself. Yeah. I would shit myself. Had to go do he that night. Not even joking. That's the scariest thing to me. Yeah, yeah. Now, there's one more topic that I think we should go over before we end it today, because I've been I've been really curious about this. Okay, this is a long one, long yeah, podcast. You know, podcasts are usually two hours. We've been doing half of that, so. Dude, they're not two hours. The ones hours. I watch, David Dorbik, uh, Logan Paul, the. They're like David's are like forty five. I'll send you a link. You've been watching YouTube clips, uh. No, I go on Spotify. The ones I see, they're usually two hours. I don't know. Dude, you're watching the wrong one. You're watching. You're probably watching like a compilation. You are the one watching. <laughs> no, 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 bro. I watch the newest episode. I mean, I don't watch. I listen every, to it every, every Monday. Monday. Dude, maybe you got so used to it, you think it's shorter. That happens to me a lot. <laughs> no, 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 it's forty-five. Exactly. Well, I don't. I don't trust you. That's <laughs> trust you, bro. That's what you're gonna say when you kill someone. Trust me. I trust you. <laughs> Just trust. Um, this is real life topics. We gotta talk about it on MTs. Our the real conversations. Oh. I might have broke the podcast there. I put my mouth way to the mic. Okay, well, <laughs> we're gonna end it off here. Uh, we hope you enjoyed. What is this? The fourth well, episode. I appreciate. Yeah, I don't know. We got confused midway. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed the the previous video that we released, the chess video. We got another one coming out next week. Um, we got big things coming big, soon. Big, big things. Be Thanksgiving. Ready. Be ready for that. Christmas. We get, we're get. we getting the flow. The flow is coming. And you better be on the rise. Because it ain't stopping. Unless if we have to. Any. Um, (laughs) gotta use it uh okay bye (laughs) 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 bye. (laughs) see you later all right see you guys later hope you enjoyed peace out i looked at my camera like i was supposed to (laughs) like that